Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how we can use GPT-4 Turbo with Vision along with our Power Apps to extract or to do optical character recognition of our images or PDF or any video. So for that, we are going to take a look on Azure AI Foundry models. So we'll be creating our custom model based on GPT-4 Turbo with Vision. And right now I have opened one of my Power Apps screen, which actually shows a demo of one picture and when I do extract, click on extract, it will extract the summary of this image using our GPT-4 vision model. So I'll just change this image, let's say to something else and we'll just do an extract and we are expecting the whatever is being shown in this image. So right now we have the scientists. So image depicts a modern laboratory setting with multiple scientists conducting research. One individual is seen working with a computer actively engaged in data analysis. So this sort of OCR we are going to just build out with GPT Turbo with Vision model in our Azure AI Foundry. So to start with, we have to go to this Azure AI Foundry where we would be creating one project. So you can create one project or you can just click on any of the existing project if you are already working with it and if I go inside it I will go to the model catalog so that we can find the right model for our this OCR extraction so as I said like we'll be working with GPT-4 that means like we are going to work with the latest of GPT-4 which includes the vision so if I search into the GPT-4 I'll get all the models and if I click on this GPT-4 you will see what is being included in this one. So it's GPT-4 Turbo 2024-009, which includes the Turbo with Vision GA model. So in the normal Turbo models and uh, the GPT Mini, so you would not find the capability of converting or extracting the OCR out of your files. So we have to use the GPT-4 and which shows in the description that it has this Vision GA model, which used to be earlier in preview. So GPT version with uh, vision with preview model so this was I mean with the earlier version so we would be using this one so once you click on deploy so this model would be deployed with one endpoint with our API key so that in turn you can use it so if I go to my existing models and endpoint which I get after deploying the GPT-4 so this, this will show like this name of the model so you can change this name and you will get the target URL and this API key which you can use with your power apps or power automate to make, make a call with so right now once you are good to go after deploying your GPT-4 with vision then you can circle back to your power apps so that you can start building the app so what we can do we can start with from a new app and I will create it from scratch and meanwhile you can have a look on this view GPT-4 turbo with vision so what it does with Vision is a large LLM model developed by OpenAI that can analyze images and provide contextual responses to questions about them. So you can very well, you can think about a use case where you want to extract the information out of your image, your PDF files or maybe like with the videos. So there this model can be in handy use where you can just directly make a call to this uh, GPT Turbo with Vision and get your images and PDF files extracted with the relevant data. So we are going to our power apps and going to start creating one app with page design and we'll be just dragging some couple of controls over there. So I'll add one edit form quickly so that I can get an attachment control and I'll just you can just connect it to any of the dummy data source which can provide you a form with the attachment and rest you can delete the other things which you don't want to use. So I'll just connect it to a dummy list which is as a configuration, I'll remove all the unrequired or the unnecessary fields. Just keep the attachment control. And over here, I'll just select the fields. Click on this. I'll remove all this existing field. And we'll just use the attachment. I'll just remove everything. And we'll say add field. So I'll just say attachment. And in this attachment control, I'll just drag to the right position and i will add just one image control so that we can just preview our file of the image which we are uploading and i'll just insert one button so that we can just call this button as an extract button and on click of that we'll be calling our power to meet which will in turn call 
our GPT-4 with vision model. I'll just say extract. And finally, I'll add from these three dots, I'll add one power automate, create a new flow, create from blank. And we will read some input from our power apps. So what input we want to read, we want to read the file and as well as we want to read the what we want to extract from green so i'll just say input text so this text we are going to just do as a reference like what we want to extract out of this image and we are going to input one file and this file will say input file so that we can extract this file content and convert that to base64 so that we can make a call to our dpt4 model and is in next step we are going to do, do just simple compose data operation where we are going to read the file content from our input and that file content we are going to get from the dynamic content and that is input file and in this input file we are going to we are bothered about getting the file content bytes so this one and in next step we would be making http call so for that we'll be trying to find the endpoint which is relevant for us to make a call so i'll just use this http trigger the method would be post and we'll circle back to our gpt4 a vision model and over here this is the target url copy that go back to your uri paste that and in headers we would be passing header as api key and this api key we are going to copy from here and you can just place that into one of the variable or you can directly paste that as well no problem in that so once you do that then we have to we are left with this content type in the header again we will say content type as application json and in body we are going to do the body reference so so for getting that body so we just refer this article where go to the body json reference which we are going to use so over here we are going to use this json so which takes role system and you are a helpful assistant user and user text what we are going to pass like we want to extract or summarize this image something like that and then image url so i'm going to copy this json and i'll go back to my this body and over here we can replace whatever the content or the dynamic content you want to replace so this one you can keep this describe this picture or you can read that from the input of our power app so i'll just read that from our dynamically from input text and this image url we are going to because once we have this image then we can use this image with base 64 so to convert the base 64 we'll be just adding this string and i am going to copy this and we'll just put that from our output of our previous compose action so this will give me the url or the base 64 for my image whatever i'm passing over here and once we do that then we have to get the output read the output and then reply back to our respond back to our power app so i'll just use respond in power apps and over here we'll just do respond to power apps and we can respond into the output variable and right now i am just using the body so though like we are going to pass that body but just for the sake of uh, running it for the first time we are just doing this passing as body so i'll just say this demo ocr or demo extraction so once i save it and we are going to do a test run and before that like we'll just add one text label so that we can see the value or the output which we are getting out of it so i'll just drag that and use our variable which we are going to get as an output after running this workflow like whatever flow we have added as demo ocr so i'll just say set response my variable and now run and we are going to pass the text text we are going to say summarize the picture 
or if you know like your picture must be having some data for example is an invoice image then you can say like can you give me the total amount but in our case we just want to summarize it so we'll just say summarize picture and we are going to pass this file so in file we are going to pass this content bytes and that content bytes would be we will be extracting from data card value for and attachments and the first attachment we want to extract so i'll just say first function and dot value so that we can get content bytes and next we are going to just say name of our attachment we want to pass so i'll just say name and again this name of attachment we are going to fetch from our first attachment from our data card value dot attachments dot name so this will give us the name of our attachment and i'm going to close this and this we are going to just close the entire formula we can just do a formatting so that we can view it properly so we are going to passing file contents name and this summarize the picture the text which is being passed as a prompt to our gpt vision model so we are good and over here in the text we are going to just read that response and output of variable so right now we will get a json but for the sake of running we are going to run it for the first time and then we'll do a parse so that we can actually get our the right content which we want to display over here so i'm just running it and this control i just need to set that to the edit this form to the edit instead of edit form as a new form so that we are able to insert the content to it without passing any data and i'm going to attach open the file do this file and we did not set this one so though like it will run but for the preview we just want to make that happen so i'll just quickly again close it and just specify that image to our data card value for dot attachments as in first attachment and now we can run it extract this will call our power domain and we got this json and if i just keep scroll down though like we haven't enabled the scroll but it's fine now we can just go back to our second step of parsing this json so that we can get a relevant content to display over here so we can just go back to our power automate once again and this time we are going to use the parse json and with parse json we are going to provide the output of our content as an sample so i'll just open this one with powerautomate.com and we'll open this power automate directly from our power automate studio so that we can get a sample last running sample easily out of it rather than like typing or creating the json template schema by ourselves so i'll just go over here we'll go to the last run click on running data and we'll click on this http action and we'll copy the entire json which we got as an output of our http step so this is output we copied it now in this next step we are going to use parse json and we will say like output from our previous http body and they generate from sample we copied the sample from our this power automate the last run schema and we have done it now quickly declare one variable so we'll do initialize variable so that we can initialize have something into string and which we are going to just pass on or respond back to our destination so i'll just say initialize variable and i'll say the output summary of type string and over here i will simply use one append to string
and over here we are going to just search for our content so this content it added to the fly each because it's a it's, it's a intern it's an object so it will add to this our string variable and this string variable we are going to just pass as an output of our at final step and once we save it and refresh it so this time we would get the content summary of our image we have saved it we'll close it and do a refresh and this time we'll run and we will expect the actual summary out of our image rather than json file so i'll just click on extract and this time we got this summary this image depicts a modern laboratory setting where multiple scientists are engaged in various tasks so this way we can make a call to our dpt4 turbo with vision where we would able to extract the content out of our image and the same thing applied to our pdf so if we wish to have the pdf then instead of the data image the b64 for png will be just created in the b64 our pdf file and over here in the content we'll just passing that summarize or give me a total of my invoice details so sort of that like you would able to extract or do OC using the gpd model 4.0 with the vision so i hope like uh, you may find it useful and if you are having a right azure subscription running for you where you can utilize the azure ai foundry then probably like it's a good way to try your hands and then check the usability of all the models and the scenarios where you can apply all these in actual production so that is it for today's video if you have any questions please drop your comments thank you